okay we have completed app auth and basket reducers go to app reducer and and copy all of this and go to reducer create new reducer and name it checkout reducer.js and paste that one in here okay so we have recreate this and remove these actions and in here we only need only three actions and every reducer is returning state and the state initial value so we need to change and the bus go to basket reducer and go in here we do not have that initial state here so we can give it empty array okay and then save it go in here so we can change it with default state okay and we can create this default state in here const default state and create an object okay so give it shipping and it's empty for now payment and this payment object is going to take type of payment like paypal and data okay and in the next version of this project we will be actually adding paypal to our projects so this is just to tell you guys that how we can add paypal with reducers okay go to your checkout actions and in here first is set checkout shipping details copy this and remove this basket from here go to checkout reducer and paste it in here so with loading we have to change it with shipping and then go back to your checkout actions next it checkout payment details go in here and paste it and change it with payment okay and the last one is reset checkout go in here paste here and we need to return our default state okay now our checkout reducer has been completed okay save this file let's have a quick break and then we will be talking about our filter reducer